Hey, yo, what's going on, people? What's good, my G's? G stands for gaming. It is your boy, Snow of Ignorant Gamers. Welcome to the channel if you're here for the first time. Welcome back if you've been a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe to us for a little bit. Maybe about 10 videos or so. Give us a chance. We have a couple of series if you don't know. We got the offline series where we just come out raw, unedited. Then we got the reports. We got the news. We got our topic videos. And our ever popular uh, seems to be the video that gets catch on the quick is our Ask the Gamer segment which we have one available right now. You ask us any question you want on that video and we answer it in the next video. That's a long form video. Uh, yeah, so just check around and always ask questions because we as a team are always looking at the comments and we will respond when we catch them. Shout out for YouTube for finally getting that better so we can connect with our fans and our subscribers and our commenters a lot better so enough of that yin yang subscribe 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 twitter facebook all that let's talk about smash bros the super smash brothers for the wii u and the 3ds that was a 40 minute nintendo direct a lot better than uh, previous directs let me tell you that they they finally get in the hand on the directs um so that's good another side note Infamously, when we talk about Nintendo on any of our stuff here, somehow, some way, it gets messed up if we mention anything bad. So I've already got lucky <laughs> with the uh, with the with the Mario Kart 8. Nothing happened to that video, so I'm hopefully I can be two for two right now. I get two in a row. So publisher Nintendo, obviously, Namco, Bandai, Project Sora, yeah. This is a real thing it's finally being seen as a person who doesn't own the wii u and still looking for um a justification purpose i just want to say i'm not a nintendo hater i was raised off nintendo but nintendo didn't grow with me i said that in many of my videos before um so i'm happy to see mario kart 8 looks fantastic i'm not gonna get into that i did a video about that but super smash brothers look fantastic not just for the wii u but the 3ds as well yes the 3ds so off the bat summer of this year 2014 the 3ds version will be available and winter of this year 2014 the wii u version will be available did i say 3ds in the first one i hope i did um so yeah that's that now the wii u version looks fantastic as the way it should be the 3ds version is fantastic they're using a different technology and it looks very good it's a three uh sorry a cell shaded version of itself and um you know this one is actually gonna probably be a must own game for any 3ds users and i think the strategy behind this which this video is probably going to focus on the main thing is that the 3ds it's probably going to sell more units right now because you know before you didn't really have a real reason to pick up a 3ds if you are a super smash brother user um yes i do i am aware i, I am aware i'm aware but for those who might not have um did it before this might be a reason right now for someone to own both who knows it might be a bundle behind this game just saying um the content is going to be slightly different, but slightly the same. There's actually one exclusive mode for the 3DS, which is like a, a battle, kind of like a battle game where it's like you run around, you're gathering um, power-ups and stuff, and then after you guys do the time limit for the power-ups, you actually get into the actual melee battle, and um, based on your power-ups will determine how strong or how fast your character is, and it's, it's a nice little concept. Um, that's done and the 3ds version will have uh, online battles so yeah that's that's pretty sick the Wii U obviously will be online and um, I, I need to slap Wii and the Wii U on the wrist mainly Nintendo on the wrist real quick because they created a $25 peripheral to be able to use a LAN connection a landline an Ethernet cord with the game um, you guys haven't been around. I wrote an article a long time ago saying why I don't understand why they keep thinking that all these people have 
Wi-Fi that they know how to use in their crib. And on top of that, that shit's not that fast for a lot of people. I know the Wii U uses better technology now, but still, even the man who's presenting the game, who also said he wasn't dead, <laughs> said, hey, you might want to use this for optimal. And we all know what that means. So, that's probably about the only slap on the wrist that I'm going to give. I know that there's some other people who's going to give way more slaps on the wrist. Um, I want to talk about the characters for a second. So there was about 29 characters I think that was announced for the game. Um, a couple of new ones. Let me see. Uh, boy. I think uh, two new characters that was announced for the game that no one had seen until the recent news which was Charizard for Pokemon and Greninja. Uh, which people thought was Mewtwo and let me tell you the internet went crazy when they found out that it wasn't <laughs> Mewtwo they, they, People was like if I want to <laughs> There were some people who said like yo, I can't get down with a frog that uses his tongue as a cape Like you guys are you guys are hilarious um, There was another thing that I saw some people mouthing off about was that Zero Suit, Zero Suit Samus was in the game and that um, the original Samus character was like didn't have the evolution part of there, like the transformation part. Um, and I think some people were arguing about the Wii Fit Trainer. And let me tell you, uh, after watching some of that footage, the Wii Fit Trainers they you could play as a male or female. That's the costume cha change. Um, I like that they, the they was doing chin ups <laughs> when they were hanging off the ledge. That's a little cute little thing. Um, shout out to Mega Man. Uh, Mega Man had like the top five, whatever, Mega Man universe people, you know, find him when he does his ultra. Uh, Peach is in the game. Toon Link, I still think that's an interesting choice for them to use. But what's hilarious about, to me, this, this, this may just be me, but what's hilarious about Toon Link is Zelda's in the game. And I just always think that's funny. I mean, I thought it was funny when Peach was in the game, but they kind of helped made Peach her own person before the first ever Smash Brothers game came out, you know. So I, it's not as funny, but Zelda, I, I know, I know, I know, I know people, I know, but it's just still funny to see Zelda in the game. Uh, Yoshi, there's a little changes to Yoshi. Uh, Yoshi kind of stands up right, got the Timberland boots just to get in your ass, top of my hole in your mother's ass. Uh, and also, you know, Yoshi could throw hands and, well, technically he ain't gonna throw hands, but he could throw some kicks. Uh, and speaking of throwing hands, Little Mac from the infamous Punch-Out series, which is my favorite. I love the Punch-Out game. Hopefully they bring one of those quickly for the Wii U. Um, you know, they, they, they brought him in the game and they, they did some nice balancing with a lot of the characters and Little Mac is already balanced out. With the gameplay, he has his own. He's probably the one of only characters in the game to have like a special like power meter, uh, which is very unique to him. And um, you know, he doesn't kick obviously. And on the ground, this dude is like a juggernaut. He got all kinds of like lead punches rolls off of him and counter, and, and like he'll fuck you up. But you get him in the air, he loses a little bit of that. That actually, he loses a lot of that steam. So. You know, that looks good. I've I seen some footage of Sonic kicking the ass. He was looking good. Um, they did some weird stuff with the Pikmin and Olimar character, which, uh, because I'm not that knowledgeable of the series in terms of that Pikmin series, I'm not sure how that's going to play out, but I'm sure that they've done so much with the balancing of, of all these other characters that it won't be an issue. Uh, I mean... The stages of the game, the battlefield, they have like the transformation stuff. I believe that, I think the one, my favorite one that I've seen was um, was a throwback to Mega Man 2's Dr. Wally. Uh, that was pretty cool to see uh, with the HD version of it. And, um, you know, I think they said the classic battlefield stage will be in both versions of the, the game. The Wii U and the 3DS. And a lot of the games are, a lot of the stages are all both. Um, obviously the 3DS won't have the transformations that'll be like the, the final zone um, through it so you know that's that's pretty cool like it's taken a while for these games to come out for the Wii U owners um, and this being a staple and to be honest with you 2014 is the correct time to put out that game even if 
the Wii U was selling well. Let's just say the Wii U was about, let's see, they came out um, October of 2012-ish. Even if it came to about 2013, 2014, even if they sold well, like, let's say they did 7 million the first year and then up till now it'd be about 4 million. This game is on target. I still think Mario Kart should have been out last year, but we're not going to get into that. Um, now, with that said, they they put some bosses and they, they got some of the the items in there, you know, back shield, banana peel stuff. All that stuff is in there. I just think that what they showed was enough to kind of kind of like rally up the troops for people to be interested I still think in general Wii U is just uh, people still think that it's just an add on like the Wii like the Wii Fit board and um, that could be hurting people because even in a quick glance because you know everyone's so ADD these days a quick glance like the Wii U console at quick glance can be mistaken for just another Wii like a Re a revamp Wii like the three versions of the PS3 and the Xbox 360, which the latest version of the Xbox 360 looks like the Xbox One if you haven't seen it. But um, the other thing that I, I forgot to mention that the cross crossplay between the two versions will not be possible, and that's basically because um there are exclusive stages on each system, so that won't happen. But again, the strategy behind releasing this for this game is is it's it's amazing because they going to sell units across the board um and i i made a mistake i called it like a battle thing um i believe it's actually called smash run i think that's what that mode was when i was saying that you had to collect stuff so i don't know what you guys think between this and the mario kart 8 is it enough to uh kind of uplift the nintendo sales or just people still really just trying to just count these boys out you know again I grew up off Nintendo but Nintendo didn't grow up with me um, for me I'm kind of like I'm just happy for for Nintendo cuz you know if Nintendo goes away which I've said many times that's not happening Nintendo money long they got one more time to be super experimental and or super obnoxious whichever way you want it or super arrogant whichever way you want to look at it they got one more time to do that before people can start saying, nah, Nintendo's fucking up, B. Like, they, they, they looking at banishment. They got one more console to do that. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. So, I think, I think I'm going to cut the video there. I want to talk, I did want to talk about the full, the full glory and for fun modes and some of the online uh, ways that some of the online stuff that they were talking about like for instance they said something about you know you could report players because in the last version of Smash Brothers because of those we code numbers you know they removed the the names on top of players and um, now that those those names are available and you know you can actually report players now because of the Miiverse and then they also got a mechanism for those trolls out there who want to report players who aren't really doing anything. They got something that can temporarily ban you if you just want to make false claims against people. Um, and then they had something, again, I don't know why, but they had this thing up there for repeated self-destruct. So maybe you guys could edu uh, educate me on that. Uh, there was something about, you know, players starting and not playing. Um, and and relentless targeting targeting of an individual I think was what they said and um, I think if you're playing a 1v1 match it's, I, I, there was something about like a Kirby something somebody was writing it in the comments and I read it and I was just like well in another game I guess that would be you know, you know I guess that would be be dope to, to stop that from happening and the, oh, oh, about the items, about the Pokemons, right? So y'all yeah, know how there's, there's Pokeballs that pop in there. They also got, they took it a step further and added uh, player, like, like red Pokemons into the scene. So we'll see how those assisted stuff helps as well. And then the other thing that was interesting was the frame rate. 
says something about 1080p um, 60 frames per second actually let's scratch the 1080p thing they were saying how the main characters will be 60 frames per second and then that the sub characters will be 30 frames per second and then they even went, went one step further to say that the 3ds version will be running at 60 frames per second which I think you know it just sounds amazing if you're not if you're not used to frames per second being spoken on on a handheld device so it just shows you you know the kind of footwork that they put inside the um in, inside of that game uh, inside of that that little handheld thing I'm not into handheld gaming so you know that was incredible for me to hear I'm not even sure if anything runs like that on on the PS Vita and if it does they need to start advertising that shit stat uh, but just looking at some of the chatter as I said earlier like people were very happy even though it's not you know Mewtwo in the game <laughs> even though they're not Mewtwo in the game but people were really happy with a lot of the balance stuff and 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 some of the new modes that was added in the way just the way the game looks and uh, the move sets, which was he kept saying it, move sets. I think his name was Sakurai. Yeah, sorry, my name. The move sets, the move sets. And there's something that they also didn't get into about that. I guess they're gonna be custom move sets for later. So that's kind of reminds me of the Ultimate Super Street Fighter 4. Did I say that right? Thing where you could play as certain versions of the characters, which you know may have been from regular Street Fighter to Super Street Fighter to Ultimate Street like. I mean, um, Super Street Fighter Arcade Edition version, so, you know, that's a cheap shot at Capcom if you ever heard one, that's one right there. But, um, yeah, you know, I think I'll kill the video right there. And, um, you know, let me know what you're thinking. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, leave feedback. And, um, yeah, yo, I'm out. Keep it gaming, my G's. One.